All right, now let's do it. Let's let's show you the the best clip of the day. Now this is on Fox Sports. Uh, the host is a guy named uh, John Brankus, and they are pretending that this is a legitimate scientific experiment. When it all in reality, all they're doing is they want to show you a guy who gets hit with a tennis ball in the nuts. It's too funny for words. This is actually on television. Watch this. Jason Fields somehow found his way to our lab and offered to put his manhood in the line of fire of a tennis ball hurtling at 50 miles an hour. Now, we're going to see what a below the belt bash does to Jason's pulse. Ooh. Will the fear, anticipation, and pain send his heart rate redlining into dangerous territory? So as he felt the anticipation, he could see his heart rate started to increase. Of course! Forth, upwards of about 110, 120 beats, and then settled back down to about 90 beats or so. That's right. Even the thought of getting his gonads grilled sends Jason's heart rate fluttering. We don't no say at 180 beats per minute. <laughs> Look at the music. Look at that announcer's voice. This is all so freaking absurd. This is the big moment. Balls are loaded. Balls are loaded. Balls are loaded. Yes. Jason's heart rate. 145 beats per minute. How will Jason's heart react to our laboratory low blow? Ready? Aim. Fire. to the floor. As his testes get hit, they send warning signals to the brain. This is the scientific part. As the brain sends pain signals back to the abdomen and scrotum, adrenaline floods Jason's system. His heart rate skyrockets to 182 beats per minute. He's redlining. His veins are constricted. His heart can't work any harder. All from one single low blow. We have our medic coming in. <laughs> the medic? Come on. <laughs> my, I can't do my arm is really numb. It's just this arm. Yeah, sure. Just give me a minute. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> You'll be glad to know that we got amazing footage and amazing science out of this, so we won't have to do this again. Oh, really? <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Can you stand up? Yeah, I, 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 you stand up. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Jason. <laughs> Let's all call the jackass who just got his gonads thrown. This should help. Uh, you know, I watched uh, a little bit more of this, and I realized this whole show is, uh, you know, is nothing but things breaking. You know, they'll take a hockey puck and they'll fire it at a glass, and the glass will break. And they'll be like, "Let's study the amazing science behind that." It turns out that if you fire a hockey puck into glass, glass breaks. <gasps> and then and they show the glass breaking. It turns out if you fire a tennis ball into some dude's balls, he gets in a lot of pain and his heartbeat goes up. No. <laughs> you can't, look, it's awesome, by the way. I don't want to get too political on this because this is a funny story. But this is Fox. Family Values Fox. Rupert Murdoch owns the station. <laughs> 68 pounds of force into a tiny area. Jason, don't worry, you won't have to do this again because we've got some amazing science out of this. <laughs> All right, it, by the way, i got to say, they are semi-geniuses because there's something about a guy getting hit in the balls that's always, A, vicariously painful, but B, also fun. You never see anybody like, even in the cartoons, when Tom and Jerry, dum -ba -dum, um, and that's, some are funnier than others. But this, the way he went down was, so, by the way, did you notice the second tennis ball that flung by over his head? <laughs> like, it's a good thing he didn't, like, stand back up. He'd be like, oh, hey. which, by the way, would have been awesome. But don't worry, Jason, we got some amazing science out of the second tennis ball hitting you in the head. They, they missed the way they could, could have scientifically rounded this all up. Oh, is that right? Everybody knows, you know. Man's balls, you get hit in the balls, it's going to hurt. 
They just said, oh, look, it's sending the pain signal to your brain and back to your balls, saying, that hurts, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course. But, no, of course, I, I, I don't think this is completely true. But, you know what, they can at least say, well, let's figure out what the anatomy of all this is and why it hurts that much more than getting kicked in the, what, neck? Or in the knee. Yeah, you you're know, right. There's something about your balls that that it, there's there. Of course, everybody knows they're sensitive. Let's get into all that detail shit, so we can. Yeah, they didn't even try, man. You're exactly <laughs> right, Jason. But this show is called Sports Science. But the real question is, why do your balls hate more, hurt more than your knee or your elbow or wherever else? And they didn't even address that. They just wanted to fire the tennis ball if the dude's nuts. I mean, let's get real and have him go. Whoa! <laughs>